As Thomas Edison said, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is to always try one more time. I know there are gonna be a million times in your life where you want to give up, where you absolutely ache with the desire to quit, where nothing sits inside of your gut other than the certainty that you are going to fail, that you are not good enough to push forward. But that is to fundamentally misunderstand the nature of a failure. The nature of a failure is not to tell you who you are. The nature of a failure is to tell you a way that didn't work. It's to inform, it's to educate you, it's to test you, it's to be a gut check, to find out if you believe in yourself enough to push forward even when the world seems to be telling you not to. And as Brian Tracy said, Attempt the impossible in order to improve your work. Think about that for a second. Attempt the impossible just to get better, to try the things that you know are going to fail, things that the world is gonna tell you simply cannot be. But even if it violates the laws of physics, if there's something in that attempt that you're going to learn, you owe it to yourself. You have a fucking moral obligation to try. Because all of the people that will lie in your wake are the people that didn't try simply because they didn't believe that they could do it. You have to be willing to look at the world. You have to be willing to see things that you yourself think are impossible and try. Because in that you will stretch yourself. You have to be willing to look inward at the state of your current skill set and say, I'm going to play outside of that. I'm not going to play where it's safe. I'm going to play where it hurts. I'm going to play where I feel clumsy. I'm going to play only in the areas that make me feel stupid because in that I know that the way that the brain responds is through adaptation. But I have to stress myself. You can't ever lose sight of that. The only way that the human animal adapts is through stress. You have to be willing to break things in order to build something new. So if you wanna push the boundaries, if you wanna see just how far you can go, if you wanna succeed at the highest level, if you wanna play on a global scale, you have got to be willing to try the impossible because right now, the things that you need to do are impossible for you, but they won't remain that way forever. And as Aristotle said, Pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. This doesn't have to be a tale of always being terrified. Everybody, myself included, screaming at you, telling you that you need to go do something great. The part they're leaving out is why the fuck should you care? You should care because it's the greatest joy. You should only listen to this if it's leading you down a path that makes you feel more alive, and that's the point. The point is to get in touch with something that makes you feel great, but not to let yourself starve or be stopped by a fear that you'll fail, by a fear that it can't be done. Have fun. Have the guts to enjoy yourself. Have the guts to go out and attempt something audacious and terrifying, knowing that all along, if you're doing it right, you're going to have a good time. So all of this, going balls out, trying to prove something to yourself, trying to do something amazing, never lose sight that it's to build a better life. Never lose sight of the fact that you're doing it to create the person that you want to be. Never lose sight of the fact that it should be fun.